Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone in some time in their life has had one of those one of those weeks where absolutely everything goes completely wrong. There's just like nothing going your way. Well, I've just had my share of that during this week and uh, I guess do, while I'm telling you this uh, bedtime story, I guess uh, we'll go on to Route 5 now, I guess. Uh, but before we get into my problems, uh, let me see if I can show you something. There's a, uh, let me see. Uh, there's somebody, I think it was this guy right here. I already picked it up. He gave me a, um, he gave me a, a HM4, I believe, okay, which is a strength, of course. I don't know if there's anything else, but I think I picked up a smooth bell and some other stuff around here, okay. But anyway, I've had a very, 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 very bad week, and it started with YouTube, unfortunately. Uh, for those uh, for those of you who make movies like I do, uh, you may have noticed that that their um, their uploading system sucks right now because uh, unfortunately the advanced uploading tab is uh, completely disabled right now. I don't know if it's been fixed and uh, why is my rival here? Blah 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 blase blase. And my male rival wants to get his butt to kick, so while I'm kicking his ass, I guess I will continue my story. Um, anyway, I was saying, the uh, advanced uploading uh, system is broken, which forces us to use the uh, the standard uploading problem. But, uh, there's our sexy protagonist with the cute, with the, with the cute butt, okay? But, uh, unfortunately, the problem with this is, uh, the standard connector, um, if you, if, if you're, like, disconnected from the internet for, like, maybe two seconds... Then you're gonna lose your, you know, you're gonna lose your percentage. You're gonna start all over again. This is very bad for people like me who live in the air with a very, very bad connection, and it takes you like five hours to upload a five-minute movie. So what this does is this forces me to um to go to other places to use the internet, places that have like a smooth connection and stuff like that. But I have to I have to use it at night when everyone's like asleep and stuff like that, so that the uh, that none of the um. None of the transactions interfere with the internet because if I use them in the daytime, then my internet gets dis disconnected and I lose my percentage, unfortunately. And I have to start off from scratch one. Okay. And uh, this Croco is just not going to be a fair Pokemon. Okay, so. So hopefully YouTube will fix this so I can upload these things at home overnight while I'm sleeping so I don't have to do that stuff or whatever. Uh, another problem I'm having is uh, my job, of course. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is the holiday season, which means everybody, the moms, like buying food like crazy. And since I work at Publix, unfortunately, my job has been revealed. I am a I am a GRS at Publix supermarkets, but I make more than enough money to buy my games. And I just got hit by Lisi. I make more than enough money to buy my games and pay my bills and bring you these movies that I've been bringing you for the past five years now. And as long as I can still pay my bills, that all that really matters, okay? So, anyway, this is going to be a very, very busy um, two months for me because this is the holiday season. Everyone's buying food, of course. Like last night, for example, I worked about, what, 13 hours yesterday doing inventory. Yeah, inventory really, really sucks, okay? So, and another problem I'm having is that this uh, stupid AT&T uh, internet, they tried to screw me over. Uh, they did some kind of updating thing with the internet and it just like completely disabled my uh, my router They were trying to convince me that I had to uh, that, that I had to like pay extra money stuff like that. I think that they're trying to update the high-speed internet But as a computer nerd, I am not that dumb as soon as I found out what the problem was It was a simple matter of uh, resetting the router and just like that. I am back online Okay, so all kind of other personal problems going on, but this is just one of those weeks where just nothing's going right for me. But I can still I can still record and make movies for you guys, so I still find time to do that. So, and uh, as I said, this uh, crocodile thing just isn't gonna be a fair Pokemon because he just makes short work of everybody. Every time it kills something, its attack power increases, and this. I think I need to give this guy a break because he's at level 82 and my water monkey isn't even at level 20 right now. I'm sorry, he's, he's at 32. Where did I get 82 from? And that was a very, very easy battle. Uh, that, uh, oh, well, you know, it's our hot gym leader in, in the uh, in the electric thing outfit. I don't know. So, uh, We defeated her in the last episode. I hated to do that because she's a very, very, very hot gym leader. And uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Blase, blase. 
uh, that guy with the big red hair, I've seen him before. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is actually, this is the champion. I've seen him before. Um, usually in Pokemon games, you always meet the champion like halfway through the game and stuff like that. They're doing a lot of talking. A lot of talking. A lot of talking. And sound like he just healed my Pokemon. Lost Pokemon have been healed. Okay. Blase, blase. Uh, what? A battle? Oh, a double battle with, with these little, little tights. Okay. You want a double... Okay. Oh, this is a different double battle. I have to work with uh, my rival here. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm I'm probably going to uh, go ahead and use my water stone now because uh, the only move I, I want this thing to get now is uh, the move set I'm going to have for my water Pokemon is going to be Surf, Ice Beam, Grass Knot, and Cheer Up. Uh, Surf and Ice Beam are both for ATMs and TMs, of course, and it already has Grass Knot, so it doesn't learn that as it levels up. So I guess I'll go ahead and use my water stone on it after this whole fight. Because it's, uh, it's, it's extremely under level, so I'm going to have to evolve it so it can, uh, you know survive a lot longer because it gets knocked out every time I enter a battle. Look at that. One, one attack. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring out Croco, of course. And I'm going to use a revive on my on my water a base so we can get these uh, spin points from these two uh, Pokemon. If I have any, I should. Let me see. Yeah, I have six of them. Okay. Uh, another problem I forgot to mention is the fact that since YouTube is having these uploading problems, um, uh, I'm not going to make any more hour-long movies until they fix it because uh, the longer the movie, the, the longer the movie, and actually the longer it takes me to upload it, and I just spit on my screen. Damn. Sorry about that. And uh, since I'm using the standard uploader, I have to have smooth internet connection. If it if it gets disconnected for just two seconds, then I'm gonna lose my uh, I'm gonna lose my upload, you know. So, but if my movie isn't that long, then I won't have to worry about it too much. Of course, if I'm if I'm uploading an hour long movie, then it's gonna take me about an hour, an hour and a half to get the damn thing uploaded. And if it screws up for just two seconds, then that's just time wasted completely. So, I'm gonna keep my movie short until they uh, get this stuff uh, fixed. And looks like they use Helping Hand. I know what that does because I use it a lot myself. He's uh, eating a berry, probably. Orange berry or something, I don't know. And maybe, I, and I guess I need to stop talking about my problems and focus on the Pokemon movies so I can stop getting my butt kicked by these two ugly dog Pokemon things. Uh, of course, they have no chance against my big, strong uh, Croco friend here, so. But I need to stop using it so much because uh, the other Pokemon can't even gain their levels because I'm using it so damn much, so. Oh, that's bullet seed. I was wondering. What, I was wondering what you were doing. Croco's at level thirty-three, and we got out of that little mess. All right. Blase, blase. Blah, 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 blah. You're a great trainer. I look forward to battling you someday. We'll meet again. Stuff like that. Let me just talk to these people to see if, uh, you know what, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and evolve my, uh, actually, you know, I, I think it can learn boiling water in a, in a couple of levels, so I'll wait till it learns boiling water, because I don't know how long it's going to be until I get surf. So I guess when my, uh, when my monkey friend here learns, uh, boiling water, then that's when I'll, I'll give it, um, water stone, but I what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring out my uh, my zebra friend here, and I'm gonna give my uh, my water monkey the experience share if I can find the damn thing anyway. Okay, this item right here, this this funny looking thing here, this is your experience share. Okay, you can simply go to um go to cerebi.net. They have a picture of every item, so you can just look at that and tell what you're getting. Okay, so. My water monkey has experience point share, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm probably just gonna let let him use that because he's very under level. Okay, 
I'm gonna level up my zebra friend now because I think it's getting ready to evolve in a couple of levels, all right? Uh, this uh, rock and roll guitar dude here wants to battle, okay? He's wing, he has a guitar, okay? And I never played Guitar Hero, but it looks very, very fun. And you know, what a coincidence. You, you, you're going to send out the very Pokemon that I'm sending out, which makes my Legend Tactics completely useless, but I have Nitro Charge, so let's do that. Not that, not that effective, but looks like you have nothing but a Legend Based Attacks, which is very dumb for you, so I'm just going to keep doing Nitro Charge. Easy experience points for me here. Oh, you do have Nitro Charge, excuse me. Yeah, I really think they gave him that for the sole purpose of hitting those uh, Grass Pokemon. And probably Steelix. Alright, next! Yeah, they, they definitely made these games a little less annoying. I think they want you to buy their game. It seems like underlevel Pokemon game more experience points than than you know high level Pokemon. Ink. But in any case, uh, it looks based on based on my experience of this game so far, uh, they're trying to make this a uh, fifth generation more enjoyable. Um, according to Snowflake, I haven't tried it yet. You know, everybody knows a Snowflake. He, he's also LP. He's currently doing um, Super Mario 64. Pokemon Platinum and some other games, but Snow I, I like Snowflake. Snowflake is very funny. I, I like Snowflake. According to him, uh, you can um, you can um, everybody train even when you're at level 100, and that makes a big difference. You don't have to worry about you know leveling up and not you know getting bad EVs and stuff like that. So that makes a a big change, along with the infinite TMs and stuff like that. So okay, and that was a very very easy battle there. And uh, what did you give me? Did you give me a guitar or something? I don't know. He gave me something, but he never looked at me one time during the battle, so okay, he just... Are any of you guys trainers, or are you just sitting here watching him play the guitar? Okay, so... Oh, another one is uh, Dancing Dudes. Uh, what do you want? You want a battle? Okay. Alright, what do you got for me today, pal? Well, well, you know, it's my fire friend. Now, I must admit that I, I absolutely love the uh, the side picture that I've used uh, for the past uh, few episodes. The, the, the one with her posing with, with the thick legs and stuff like that. But in all honesty, this is Pokemon and there's probably a lot of uh, miners watching this. So, therefore, I'm going to try to find a more appropriate picture. The one I'm using now is, is going to be the one I use until I find another one because I just don't want to use the same picture over and over again, but oh well. And he's obviously doing something like uproar or something like that, but I really don't care because I'm fasting. I'm just going to knock you out right here. Uh, doesn't this thing evolve at level 24 or did she cheat? Because I thought the gym leader had one of these at level 24 or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I might be wrong, but I don't know. Okay. Let me just uh, get it out of here for... Uh... I wonder if my water monkey can handle this thing. Because this uh, fire Pokemon's defenses are not that good in this form anyway. I think his other form is a uh, defensive or something. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll be out of this mess in another, in another attack. Unless this knocks me out. Cause that thing has high attack. Oh, no. Does it? Okay. And that takes care of you. Very, very easy battle there. Alright. Here's an old guy here. What do you want? Oh, you want a battle too? Damn. All these trainers. Okay. What is this? Oh, he's a painter. He's an artist. Okay, he's an artist. And he has this uh, psychic thing here. But unfortunately for him, that's a that's a flying Pokemon. So unless he's faster than me, and he's not, I get the first hit. It might knock you out, and it might not. If it doesn't, then oh well. I just finish it with Croco. Wow, you got high defense, don't you? Whirlwind. Huh, he didn't knock me out, so I still get the experience points. 
Uh, normally I would switch, but uh, actually I think I better switch because uh, he'll probably knock me out with a with a flying attack. Let me go and get uh Crocker out here, so I can just knock it out with a crunch. Actually, I can just do bite and knock it out. Let me save my crunches for something else. Let me save my crunches. I just knock it out with bite. All right. Yeah, this Pokemon is just not fair. I'm pretty sure everyone's using it because it's, it's very, very strong. Very, very easy to catch. And you can get it very early in the game. Alright, so... Let me heal up a little bit here. Essie, no. I don't, I don't need to waste any items because uh, doesn't this uh, guy over here heal me? Oh, I gotta beat you first. Excuse me. Somebody helped me earlier. It wasn't you? And you got a lot of hamburgers. But since you're the first trainer on the route, you're obviously going to heal me, aren't you? And you start up with the fire monkey. So I guess naturally I'll go ahead and get the water monkey out here. Yeah, everybody has these monkeys. Why? Everyone... I said about half the trainers in this game has this, uh, this, uh, these, uh, monkeys of some sort. And I'm not gonna feel that, cause that thing has 30, uh, base power. Let me just, uh, hit it with a couple water guns. And I should be out of this mess quickly. Water gun. Yeah, it'll probably get so much better, um, once I learn, um, bowling water. Which is a water attack with a 80 base power, I think. But of course, I'm probably gonna end up replacing it with Surf, and I can teach it to it anytime I want to, because I think Boiling Water is a TM. And now you got the Grass Monkey, so naturally I'm gonna get it out of here and bring in my five Pokemon, of course. But didn't you have a third Pokemon? Your third Pokemon is naturally going to be that um, that water monkey. You just hit me with Leech Seed. But I don't care because uh, you aren't going to survive a fire punch from this thing. It's super effective. Die. Next. H trying to learn a new move. Okay, what we got here? Let's. This is it right here. That's it. This is boiling water. Okay, 80 attack power. That's boiling water. So let's get rid of water gun. That suck ass. Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sucky move. Let's get rid of water gun and replace it with boiling water. All right. Boiling water has a 30% chance to uh, burn you, I believe, but that doesn't make any sense, but oh well. Well, actually, I guess it does. And I just knocked it out with Fasade. <laughs> Without the boost, no this. Okay. Now that my water ape has boiling water, I'm going to uh, go ahead and evolve it because uh, I'm going to teach an ice beam as a TM. And I don't think it learns anything else that I'm interested in. Let me see. It learns Brian later on, but I don't need Brian. It learns Crunch at level 43, but my water Pokemon is going to be a special sweeper. Well, not a special sweeper, just a spe special attack risk. So I, I, I don't need that because I got the crocodile for that, so. I guess I'll go ahead and evolve it to this, um, to the evolve form now, whatever the hell it's called. Let me, uh, find my water stone. Where are you, water stone? Where's my precious water stone? There it is. Let's go ahead and use this on the water monkey. What? Ape is evolving. And we have a new Pokemon. Ape involved to something with long blue hair. Okay. And it's waving at us. All right. So now it's probably a lot stronger and a lot faster. This guy doesn't hear my Pokemon. Does anybody here hear your Pokemon? I guess not. I guess I got to go back to the uh, Pokemon Center this time around. I think there's like a train up here or not. I think I bowed it already. Oh, never mind. There you are right there. Yeah. 
hitchhiker, okay? This uh, psychic thing here. Why didn't I switch? I don't know. I guess I really want my uh, my zebra fan to evolve, but no oh well. All right, let's try out this new uh, Pokemon here and this new move. Okay, that's a lot of hair. That's a uh, boiling water. Oh, nice! I burned them already. But it looks like you have the ability that that hits me with my own. Uh, Stats effect that I did on you, but oh well. I guess that that, that that's gonna be nice. It has a uh, it has a thirty percent chance to burn, according to uh, Selby.net. It has a thirty percent chance to cause burn, which is very very good. This just might not be a bad Pokemon here. And one step into the grass, and I get a random encounter. And we have one of these uh, fairy Pokemon here, okay? But I'm not interested unless it's a shiny, so let's just flee from it, shall we? And why is Crocodile in front? Okay, we're all healed up and we are getting a lot done in this episode because I'm talking a lot and there's just random battles everywhere, so... Let's... Uh, now what? And already I'm starting to see why people are drawing a lot of pictures of this uh, gym leader because uh, she's uh, just everywhere. I guess a lot of guys are falling in love with her just like I have, but oh well. And what do we have here? A bridge is lowering, okay. Okay, uh, naturally, uh, naturally uh, they won't lower their bridge until you be the gym leader. This is why she's here, probably. And now she's gonna go back to the gym. We can probably rebattle her later on. So that's exactly what happened. This, I can guarantee that this bridge won't lower until you uh, beat that gym leader, right? Okay. But I see an item up there, so let me just go up there and get it. Right up there, let's see what that is. And it looks like it's guarded by a hiker, so I guess I have to deal with them on the way. Can't go that way. Go through this grass. Get this item over here. That looks like a Pokeball or potion or something. I'm starting to remember some of these uh, symbols. That looks like a Great Ball or something. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I was just about to go to the to the menu screen. I really, really hate it when I do that. When I knock my uh, camcord out of vision like that. I gotta stop doing that. All right, another one of these uh, fairy things. Uh, I'll just run from it from now. All right, let's see what we got over here. There's our hiker friend. Looks like I can sneak. No, I can't. Or can I sneak behind him? I don't know. Here's that cat. Uh, this cat thing is naturally the evolved form of, of the uh, cat that we fought way back there in the beginning of the game. It's a dark type, so... I guess it's a decent dark type for this point in the game, but... Why would you get that when you can get the crocodile? Well, what we got here? Uh, this thing uh, looks like a cross between Jinx and Illuminice or whatever that, that female bug Pokemon is called in Ruby and Sapphire. But you know what? If I don't knock it out, I guess I'll go ahead and catch it because it's so cute. Uh, this is a psychic Pokemon, by the way. But uh, I looked at it. It's an evolution. It's not that strong in attack, but it's very defensive. But a Mega Horn from Hair Cross is probably still just knock you out completely, so. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, let me see, uh... Yeah, I think that was a great ball that I picked up, see? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the symbols, and all the Pokeballs in at the same symbol, so I'll at least know when I'm picking up some kind of Pokeball. So once again, this is one of those uh, games where you really don't need to know Japanese in order to play it. That little symbol on the end means it's, it's a Pokeball or something. I don't know. And we caught something. I don't know what the this thing is called. It's a Sake Pokemon. 
It's very defensive in its final evolution, which is okay, but you know, I'd rather have Blue Force Attack. Uh, nickname it? Uh, nah, I'll do that later. Alright, what we got here? I have no idea what that is. Alright, and let's battle this hiker here. Come and get it, pal. Hey, I want a battle. Okay. Basically, you want a battle. I don't know what you're saying, but basically, you want a battle. Okay. And what the hell is this? Oh, I know. Isn't this the evolution of that that weird tapo Pokemon with the human face? Uh, why didn't you hit him with Shockwave? Oh, you're a ground type. You sneaky little bastard. You're a water type and a ground type. That's not fair. Now, how was I supposed to know that without looking at the Pokedex? But it's reason like this why I have grass knots. Now, how did you survive that? I guess you're not that heavy. I have got to stop doing that! Now, die! Thank you. All right, we got that little mess. So that thing's a that thing has to be a ground type, mixed with a water type. I have to remember that next time I encounter it. But at least I have a Pokemon that can handle it with these now. And let me just uh, pick up my uh, zebra friend. This is my revive. See, once again, I can't read Japanese, but I know what the revive item looks like because because I play because I played um, Pokemon before. So I don't need no Japanese. See, I know that that's a revive, okay? I know that that's a hyper potion because it says HP 200. See, just basic stuff there. So for those of you who are wondering how I can get through this game in Japanese, that's how, okay. And I'm sorry that we didn't get much done, but I'm going to end this thing right now. Normally, this would be an hour-long episode, but as I said, YouTube's having trouble with the conditions, so I guess we'll continue on past this bridge on this episode. And I think there's another route that I can uh, go back there, over there. Where I fought this uh, police officer off screen back there. No, actually, I fought him. In, I fought him a couple of episodes ago. Yeah. So I will probably go back there and explore that some more. Okay. And then maybe we'll continue. And uh, hopefully YouTube will have this shit fixed by then. All right. See you guys later.